Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus SrNO3 2. This is sodium carbonate, and then we have strontium nitrate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have two sodium atoms here, just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. That balances the sodium atoms. I have two nitrates, two nitrates here. I have a carbonate here and here, and a strontium here and here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the sodium ion, very soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. Carbonate in general is insoluble unless it's bonded to a group one element or the ammonium ion. So sodium carbonate, sodium's in group one, this is going to be soluble, but strontium carbonate is insoluble. That means it's a solid and it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate when these two substances here react. Now that we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So once we have the complete ionic equation, we can cross out the spectator ions. And they're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I have two sodium ions. In the products, I have two sodium ions. These are spectator ions. Cross them out two nitrate ions here in the reactants, and again in the products, spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus SrNO3 2. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium carbonate and strontium nitrate. You'll note charge is balanced, two plus, two minus. This is a net charge of zero over here, neutral net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.